be interesting. Defensive performance is the next one. So, the, so Gabriel is, is basically trumps meaning in a lot of this. Aerial duels is the number of aerial duels you can test. So the Premier League, I'd say, is a bit more, a bit more, you know, a lot more vertical passes, so a lot more heading. Yeah. So Gabriel doesn't face as many as Mina. Mm. Gabriel wins more of his duels, so he wins much more with the higher percent of his duels. Oh, okay. he, 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 he's more active defender. That surprised than me that because I would say the one thing because Yeri yeah, doesn't it, get it, beaten very often. I would say, say, say he was doing nine and won four. And Gabriel did seven and one four. It did have a percentage, yeah. so it, it can work out yeah, that way. Course, it's how you interpret it, of course. Yeah. Gabriel blocks. This is one I'm surprised that Gabriel blocks more shots than Yerry Mean. Now, Yerry Mean is quite a, a physical defender who gets in front of the ball, so mm. is that something to consider? Gabriel's yeah. a much more busy defender, it takes a lot, a lot more defensive, wins more defensive duels. As I say, look at the difference in intercepting. Yeah. That re, that's that reading the games. Yeah, yeah. I think Yerry Mean is very, I think this is quite harsh because the Premier League is a different, is a slightly bigger, better standard, so it can be. It's hard to mirror stats over mm. the data over from one league to the other. But what you can see with Gabriel is he's quite he anticipates really well. He cuts mm. those passes. He cuts the angles off of passes as well, really well. But also, I mean, all we're doing is we're just trying to build the profile, no, no, yeah, and we're just saying, it, look, it, this is the data that's available. Exactly, exactly. And again, there's fouls again, though. Yeah, he, you know, maybe there's fouls. Doesn't give away a lot any of foul, fouls. Yeah. So not only is he having a lot more interceptions, hardly committing you, any fouls. The key well. with Gabriel as well is what and what. what this is where Michael Keane struggled in the past because we'll use Keane as an example is defending in space which yeah. is why we he struggled to play a high line Michael Keane and we've won to play a high line having Holgate Gabriel I mean is not too bad in the high line either mm. it enables you then to play higher, to up, the play higher up the pitch because you, you, you don't mind them being one on one with a quick play in space because yeah. he's got no problem in defending those quick players no. in space so that's key with me as well if you played him with the Gabriel and, or, or, and with Holgate as you see mm. it it allows him to, to be the stopper when, when yeah, Michael Keane yeah. and Mina played together they couldn't really work out the role as well mm. and I think that's what you want that balance is Gabriel is big enough and strong enough to do both roles and is mm. quick enough so you can have him with Holgate or with Mina so yeah. the nice balance for the squad there and then this final one so you're passing, yeah. So Mina makes more passes, um, and he's more passing accuracy, which is not really, it's really, it's quite negligible because obviously just seeing Gabriel is averaging 86% of his passes. Mina's mm -hmm. obviously averaged a bit more in their terms of 90%. But as you can see here, Mina's making a lot less riskier passes than Gabriel. He makes quite a high number of risky yeah. forward passes. Uh, yeah. So the difference is that's why it affects his accuracy on forward passes because mm -hmm. he makes a lot more. Yeah. So it's just how you interpret it. What we're seeing here is Yeri really Mina is carrying the ball much more into midfield. There's a lot more space open for Mina. I think with Gabriel, he could exploit that space as well. So mm -hmm. again, you've got to. The data shows. Style you of the team is different. Exactly. As well, so that's it's how you interpret I think. When I looked at Gabriel's data, you, you know, if you looked, if I had to make a short list for Everton before I knew he was interested, he would have been on the list. Yeah. Okay. Because he's that type of player that fits what Everton wants and the profile mm. of Carl Ancelotti wants. So it shows him in a good light that he, you know, he, he, he will be, he would be a really good addition for the side. Mm. Yeah.